This book is called There Was an Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe. Now on the front cover of every book, there is the author's name. But this book came from the library, my favorite place, and so the library sticker right here covered the name of the author. So I'm going to look somewhere else to find who wrote this book. I'm going to flip open inside. See, there's my library card, or my library ticket. And over here on the left side of the book, it has the author's name and a little bit more information about them. So, the author's name is Jane Cabrera. So let's give a big thank you to Jane Cabrera for writing this awesome story. Um, look at, did you notice anything about the old woman on the cover of this book? I mean, she has a lot of kids, we know that. But look, she has a little tool. She has like a dress with a little area. It's not a tool belt, but it's more like a pocket where she keeps all her tools. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, let's get started. Do we know who our mystery guest is yet? I'll give you a clue. <clears throat> I don't even have to say anything. The clue is right there. Hmm. Who could it be? Who could it be? If you guessed Grandma! My old lady grandma friend! You guessed right, she's coming to read with us today and she looks pretty excited. Look at her, she's dancing, she's moving. She's saying hello to the old woman. <laughs> All right, let's get started. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children and animals too. So she was pretty busy, it sounds like. Animals and children. She had Bertha and Martha, Skye and Bob, Eric, Edith, Esme and Pob, John and Jane, Jack and Jill, Kai and Rosa and Baby Bill. Aw, there's Baby Bill. Oh, Grandma loves Baby. Oh, Grandma. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and when the children were hungry, she made them a stew. Stew is a soup, a big soup, with potatoes and coconut and carrots and peas, and she kissed them all lovingly when they said, more please. Oh, she sounds like such a sweet woman, taking care of everybody. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and when the car broke down, they rode anew. They all held tight, sitting side by side, and she kissed them all lovingly at the end of the ride. So I wanted to tell you something funny about this page. So, oh, hold on, somebody's coming. Oh, Grandma's here. Hey, Grandma, what? Something's funny on this page. It sure is. Well, what is it, Grandma? Hmm. It's the spelling of this word right here. New. Oh, Grandma's right. What's wrong with that word, Grandma? It's spelled G-N-U. It should be pronounced GNU. Uh, you know what, Grandma? That's a very good observation. But I think the G is silent in this word. Which is funny, right? Because if you're learning how to read and you see that word G-N-U, new, up here, it does, it does look like it says GNU, but it's actually pronounced new. Hmm, good to know, thanks. Keep reading, please. Flip that page. All right, Grandma, we're flipping. But look at that, how clever. Their car broke down, so they got a much better ride on a new. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and when the clothes got tatty, what would she do? Do you know what the word tatty means? Hey, Grandma, do you know what the word tatty means? It's spelled T-A-T-T-Y, tatty. Hmm, tatty, I think that word means shabby, or like worn out, or not in very good condition. Am I right? Grandma, you are right. That is what the word means. Tatty means old and worn out, and maybe it has holes in it. So she needs to fix these tatty clothes for the kids. Let's see what she does. So when the clothes got tatty, she'd 
mend and make do. What fabulous clothes, such colorful cloth. And she kissed them all lovingly when they showed them off. Aw, look at all the new clothes. They're so cute. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. And when the furniture broke, she stuck it with glue and hammered and nailed and screwed here and there and she kissed them all lovingly from her wobbly chair. Look, you see there's all her tools. That is a very, very handy old woman. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and some days were just a big hullabaloo. Whoa! Hey Grandma, do you know what hullabaloo means? It means, um, hmm, let me think. It means like a big commotion, a fuss, huge commotion. Am I right? You are right, Grandma. Hullabaloo is just craziness, a big commotion, a lot going on. So let's see. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and some days were just a big hullabaloo. So much noise. What a messy muddle. What's a muddle? Grandma? Sorry, we got to check with Grandma again. That's another word that I might not know the meaning of. A muddle. So much noise, what a messy muddle. Muddle means confusion. That's it, confusion. So, so much noise, so much confusion. Oh, thank you, Grandma. Okay, so much noise, what a messy muddle. But all was made better by a big, soft cuddle. And there's the old woman saying, I love you. Oh, and she's hugging all her kids and all her animals. Grandma. What did you think of that story? Hmm, I loved it. It was wonderful. Oh, I loved it too. So that is the end of that story. And hold on, there's a note from the author. Let's read it. Okay. It says, I wanted this book to be a celebration of mothers. It's a new, fun-filled version of the traditional rhyme. The old woman manages to care for and men and make do for all her children despite being very outnumbered. Outnumbered means there's more kids and animals than there are the old lady. I painted the artwork for this book using acrylic paint on paper and added a little collage too. To see snippets of my creative process, oh, you can follow her on Instagram or visit her website, www.janecabrera, that's J-A-N-E, C-A-B-R-E-R-A -R -R dot C-O dot U-K. She says, thank you for reading my book. I hope you enjoyed it. From Jane. Oh, Jane, we definitely enjoyed it, didn't we, Grandma? Oh, yes, I loved it, loved it, loved it! All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this book as much as we did, and I hope you'll come back and read another book with us soon. Say bye, Grandma. Bye! Have a great day!